Guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be playing Dark World with the new support. We've got the Dark Corridor, which is an additional extender for the deck, and it's also a consistency booster. And we've got the Lordless Chaos King of Dark World, the new boss monster of this deck that just allows you to board wipe the whole field. It's so crazy, it's so fun, it's so amazing. But we need to play one copy of the Rain Biox Overworld of Dark World in order to access it. So keep that in mind. Now, as of the ratios, we start off with the one Ceruli, and people don't really play Ceruli, but in my opinion, it's just such a good card to get access to more effect and better effects for your Dark World monsters also you enable the effect of your rain biox so you're either gonna destroy all monsters your opponent controls or spells and trap cards your opponent controls also you get to activate the graph secondary effect to randomly select a card from their hand special summon it if it's a monster also goat's effect is particularly impressive it allows you to pop two things on the field and get the special summon if you discard it with the effect of the ceruli which is crazy good it's such an amazing effect and obviously all the other dark world monsters are improved when you discard them off of your opponent's effect aka due to ceruli's effect also we play the one copy of akashic magician to return it to the hand which lets you just activate the effect of it once again special summon this card again and trigger other effects which is just a cool extender and cool play to go for other than that we also play two copies of brow three copies of snow three copies of the genta obviously one copy of the rain biox because we need it for our colorless typically you don't play it but with the colorless you need to play it because it's the fusion material required to fusion summon it two copies of gold also two copies of the grapha two copies of the rain biox some people play three of it i would highly suggest you play it with three but i ended up playing two of it because i don't want to craft the third one i'm just broke my wife left me and I have no money now. <laughs> we got out of topic a little bit. Anyways, we play also two copies of Dark Corridor, also two copies of the Gates of Dark World, and also we play the one copy of Archives and the one copy of the Accession. Typically, you could play a third copy of the Gates of Dark World too, but most of the time you do use only two of them because you get to activate Gaeta's effect once, return to the hand, activate it again, and you don't have the ability to activate it a third time, so you don't really need it third time. But I guess you could play a third copy of it as well. Other than that, we also play the Danger card: two copies Jackalope, one copy to Chinoku, two copies Motwan, one copy to Pacabra, one copy of the Where is it? The Thunderbird two copies of the Nessie and two copies of the Bigfoot. You could play different ratios if you want to. Maybe a third copy of Motman is nice. And we also play one copy of Zephyrus, obviously, to return the fuel spell and reuse it for a third time. Now, as of the extra deck, the Dark World monsters are the Grappa Dragon Overworld of the Dark World and also the Clawless Chaos King of Dark World. We already discussed that card. It allows you to destroy everything your opponent controls and just OTK the majority of times. Also, Grappa is a really good negate. I do play two copies of it. I wouldn't suggest you go lower than that, but you don't really need a playset of it anyway, so two is fine. Also, we're playing as a the Exceed monsters, one of Bizdor, one Dugares, also one copy Coach King, one copy Hulk Harbinger. Hulk Harbinger is particularly amazing going first to just get an additional negate. Also, the Coach King allows you to draw up to three cards, which is just crazy good. It's such an amazing effect to just continue extending your place. Also, the Dugares is particularly amazing to just draw cards and discard something, get something going. And also, the Abyss Door, you could play Baguska instead, but it's just an amazing card to summon going first and have an additional interruption. Now, as of the Link monsters, one copy of Akashic Magician for the Cerulean, one copy of IP for the Nightmare Unicorn, Apollo or underworld goddess to special summon one copy of the muckraker to just extend your place one copy of the Sorugia, same reason extend your place and one copy of a griffin for the griffin lock and also you can go into unicorn apalooza and goddess whatever you want to and that was it for the deck profile guys now let's get into the gameplay and see if the deck has improved Okay, that's a pretty good hand. Let's start off by activating Genta. It's a bit annoying that I have the Gates of Dark World in my opening hand now, but still, let's go the Gates of Dark World. Now I'm going to be activating the effect of it, obviously going for the standard place. Banish the Genta, send to the graveyard the snow, and I will get to go for a couple of different plays. And with the snow, I'm actually going to go for the fusioning spell, and I know that this is a little too early to go for that, but I want to just, uh, you know, uh, I want to be sure that I'm going to be able to fusion summon if something goes wrong and if my hand is actually poo-poo. Now I'm going to go with the Gates of Dark World once again. I'm gonna be banishing the snow also i'm gonna be pitching the grapha and this is a little bit weird but i just want to get the extra value just to cycle through my deck a little bit because if i go for the danger cards and if i don't end up hitting something good it's gonna be so nasty dude now let's activate the effect of the grapha return to the hand again i guess normal summoning the genta once again and i'm gonna link off two my monsters into ip before i decide to lock myself into something else or whatever now activating the effect of the accession here and i'm gonna be summoning the grapha by using from my graveyard the genta also the grapha and this is you know obviously really good i'm gonna be going for the grapha dragon overworld of the underworld dark world pardon me with the animation now let's go activate motman please don't hit the motman nessie is fine nessie is okay let's pass someone now the motman to the field draw a card 
activate Nessie and I hit the Rain Biox, which is amazing. Search out a copy of, I guess, the um, actually Chupacabra is the better option. And now I'm gonna be going for the Chupacabra effect right now. Come on, dude, please pitch the Rain Biox. Okay, that's looking amazing. Pass him on the Chupacabra to the field, draw a card, activate Rain Biox, search out a copy of an additional card. It's gonna be the Rain Biox overworld to the Dark World here. And now I'm gonna go activate the effect of the Danger Jackalope and I'm gonna be pitching the Lava Golem. Sure, okay. Get the actual specimen once again, draw a card, and I'm gonna go for the Tuchinoko now. Additional no special summon pitching the uh you know uh the rain Biox, which is amazing drawing another card now let's use two of my monsters summon the dugares here and I'm gonna be activating the effect of the Dugares. Draw, draw two, discard one here. And come on, give me something good. I need something brilliant. That is pretty good. Gold is actually an additional extender, which is phenomenal. So now let's pay some to the field. And uh, I'm also gonna go activate the effect from my graveyard, the rain Biox. Return the gold to the can. Pay some money to the field, this guy. Then I'm gonna activate the effect of the accession, back, get it back to the hand by pitching the gold, which is amazing. And actually, I should have uh, first the link summon because now I lose access to my bodies, which is a little bit annoying. One less body on the field. Anyways, let's just go for the nightmare griffin, and this is gonna be the full combo, guys. Obviously, you know, uh, you know, I would have gotten access to one more body, but. You know, still is really good. Let's just pitch the Mudora to set it up in the graveyard. Set to the field the gates of Dark World. I won't be able to activate it, but it's still really nice to have it. And this is gonna be the whole turn, guys. This is amazing. So many interruptions now. I have the Graf on the gate, the IP interruption, the Nightmare Griffin Floodgate. Also, I have the ability to use Mudora. Also, the accession to go into the newly released uh, Clawless. Activating the effect of the Super Polymerization Pitching. Possessed Dark Soul. Uh, sure. Using the Grafa and also the IP. I cannot respond to it. Into the Drago Stapelia. And now he will not be able to activate the Drago's Tapelli. And I can also use the effect of the Grafa Dragon Overworld of the Underworld. Pass summon the Grafa to the field, which is just a nice bonus here. It doesn't do anything that much. Okay, also pitching. What is this? Fusion Substitute. And I get to discard one card as well here, but that's okay. Now I'll activate the effect of the Danger Jackalope. Just to get an additional body on the field. It's not terrible. Just to have it there. I really don't care what I special summon. It's whatever. Now he's gonna normal summon the Predaplan Orphis. Okay, sure. Pitching a copy of the Bibles. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Special summon also this guy. Activate this chain link one. Chain link two. Actually has no more targets. Searching out a copy of the Buffalo Lucia, which he's gonna set to the pendulum scale right now. Okay, that's really good. Now, let's just see. Let's just wait for a second. So, uh, because my Griffin is on the field, Pessimum Monsters cannot activate their effect. So, that's gonna be negation on the Drago Stapelia. Now, let's activate the Dark World of the Session here. And I'm gonna be fusion summoning to a zone that my Griffin is pointing to in order to activate the effect. And I'm gonna go for the newly released Lorless by using the Rainbow from the graveyard. Also, by using the Chupacabra and also by using the Galva Golem. And I can even use more targets than that i'm gonna use also like dude wh where does it matter dude let's just read it for a second here i don't know the secondary effect this card gains at original attack and defense yeah sure let's just use everything just for fun dude. let's just use the whole graveyard come on let's summon the newly released boss monster of this deck lordless chaos king of dark world no animation but that's okay 7000 attack and defense activate the effect board wipe the whole field and just win the game with that. Oh my god, that is so much hype. This card is amazing. This card gains so much attack points. Activating now the effect of the fusion substitute. And I don't care about that. Setting one back row and passing turn. Come on. And my draw phase is skipped, but that's okay. Now let's turn the Bigfoot to attack mode. And I'm gonna be just proceeding to the battle phase. Attack for 2700 with Grafa, Dark World, Dragon World of the Dark World. Activating the Preda Planning. Okay, sure. Now activating the effect of the Bible. Searching out a copy of this, which doesn't do anything. And now attacking for 7k. Oh no, he has... Oh, I forgot about that. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I just negated the attack. Okay, anyways. I'm gonna still get game with that, hopefully. I add one Preda plant card. Sure, dude. Come on, just let me get game. What is happening? Unfortunately, not attacking with Clorless, but this is the new boss monster of this deck. Dark worlds are crazy right now. So fun. Bro, that was so amazing. Activating the effect of the super heavy samurai motorbike. Sure. Okay, that's gonna take like 20 hours. Let's just keep to the part where this is over. One eternity later. Bro, no joke. I was waiting for 10 minutes. Dude, this guy played so slow. Anyways, okay, let's start off by summoning the lava golem i'm gonna be getting rid of the baronia floor also gonna be getting rid of the colossus just so i can continue playing from here and uh yeah i'm gonna be making some plays happen from here let's activate the genta this will most likely bait out an interruption and then my gates of dark world will be available to activate never mind he let me activate it so that he will probably negate it after i activate it yeah i'm guessing he will activate it now okay activating the effect of it to negate it but that doesn't do anything you're gonna negate it but not pop it what are you doing that actually doesn't stop the effect of it dude um well in that case i'm actually gonna go and activate the bigfoot come on 
Don't hit the gates of Dark World, please. Okay, Nessie is fine. Nessie is okay. I get to special summon to the field the Bigfoot. Also, I get to, you know, uh, get the Nessie effect going and special summon something else. Search out a copy of the Snow as well, which is phenomenal. Well, let's add another copy of the Bigfoot because this time I actually want to discard it, but we'll see. Now let's activate the effect of the gates of Dark World. And yeah, as I said, I mean, I don't know why he used the negate that early. Okay, pitch the snow. Now, chain link one, we're gonna go activate snow. And chain link two, we're gonna go Genta, which protects the effect of snow, which is phenomenal. Sure, special summon to the field again and now i get to search out a copy of the rain Biox right here which is absolutely incredible now let's go activate the second copy of the gates of dark world and i am 100 sure i'm gonna win this game by the way he has almost nothing left and so i'm gonna go activate the effect of motman as well just to see what i get from here all right, I pitched the mod man. Now I get to discard something. I'm gonna go discard a copy of, I guess, Bigfoot just to force out the negate off of the Borderlord Savage and just play the game freely from here. A copy of Retaining Scene in his hand. Okay, interesting. Let's just force out the effect now. All right, now I get to play the game for free and I'm gonna win this game super quickly. Trust me with that. Okay, that negates the effect of it. All right, now we're gonna go and we're gonna activate the effect of the Gates of Dark World. I'm gonna be sending to the graveyard by banishing the snow, the Rain Biox here. Boom, discard Rain Biox, draw a copy of Grafa. Okay, interesting. Now we're gonna activate the effect of the Rain Biox. Search out a copy of, I guess, Gold. Chaining the effect of the Axel Synchro to go for a level 12 Synchro play. Okay, that's interesting. I guess he had another interruption here. Probably the level 12 Super Heavy Samurai. Yes, the Brave Mazurabo. Sure. Now the, uh, you know, effect of the Rain Biox resolves. I get to search out a copy of... I mean, I could go for Rain Biox. Actually, no, let's go for Rain Biox. I have an idea with that. Now let's go activate the Dark Corridor here. And I'm gonna be searching out a copy of um, Snow again, possibly. Yeah, actually, no. Let's go for Ceruli. I have an idea. Okay, so we're gonna go for Ceruli. We're gonna pitch the Ceruli to the graveyard. It's gonna be so nasty for him here. Changing the effect of the Mazurao to draw an additional card. I don't care about that. Now the effect resolves. Pass some on the Ceruli. And now I'm gonna be discarding a card. And I can discard this. Yeah, let's just pitch that guy. It's really amazing. Now let's activate the effect. Space summon to the field. Destroy all monster my opponent controls. But actually, I'm gonna choose all spell and trap cards my opponent controls. Because I can re... Actually, no, let's go for the monsters. Okay. Now using the effect of the Mazurao to protect itself, but that doesn't matter at all. Now let's go activate the effect of the Rain Biox to return to the handy, uh, you know, Genta. Press summon it back to the field. Let's activate Mode Man and let's pitch something else. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna space summoning to the field the Mode Man. And I'll draw an additional card. Another snow is actually cool. And now let's use two of my monsters. And I'm gonna be summoning the Muckracker here. I'm gonna use these two because I don't need them. And I'm gonna go for my final place here and just get game with those. Let's activate the effect of the Muckracker. I'm gonna be pitching. I'm gonna be bringing back to the field a copy of the Lava Golem. And I'm gonna be preaching the snow here. And uh, I just need a level 8. I just need a body on the field. I don't care what I bring back. Now let's go snow. Search out a copy of the Accession. And now for my final move. Let's summon once again. The new boss monster of this deck, Crawlerless, and I'm gonna be banishing everything here from the field, from the graveyard. I don't care, just target everything just for the BM, guys. Let's just use absolutely everything here. Also, pitching the Grafa, except for the Bigfoot, of course. Summon the Crawlerless Chaos King of Dark World, activate the effect of the uh, Grafa. Destroy this, activate the effect of the Crawlerless, destroy everything on the field, just to be even more crazy about it. And that is gonna be game, guys. Let's now attack with 8,000 attack points. OTK, Lordless for game. This deck is so amazing. Highly suggesting you to try it out. Absolutely banger here, dude. Absolutely stunning. This deck is so fun. I actually enjoyed playing it so much.